I know you haven't seen me in probably like three to four months, and I'm here to give you all the tea on why. So let's get into it. What up everybody, it's your girl Jay Lyric. You see the flesh, but I'm walking in the spirit and I'm here to give you some TLC from me to thee. So today I'm here to just basically, so first of all, I have my tea here, okay? Because first of all, I love tea. Second of all, I know it's been a while. It's been a while since I posted and then my last video was about consistency. So, <laughs> it's very much giving a conundrum, but I am a very consistent person, guys, and YouTube is, has always been a passion of mine or something I wanted to do, yet it's always seems to be on, on the back burner as it pertains to like priorities sometimes, which I'm trying my best to make YouTube a priority for you all and for myself because I find solace in posting and joy in posting um, my life experiences and the things that I um, go through on a day-to-day -day basis. So the first thing I just want to talk about um, as to why I haven't been on YouTube is seasonal depression. And like seasonal depression is very real. Um, so I struggle with seasonal depression from time to time um, just because uh, a lot of close family, I've lost a lot of family members in my lifetime and um I'm very young, so I was able to, grateful enough to know all my great grandparents, um, and I've seen them all transition on um, to a better place. And um, I've also witnessed my grandmother pass away, which I'll probably talk about in another video. But just, just for context like I sometimes struggle with seasonal depression because of the fact that um during the holidays like my granny was the matriarch of my family in terms of like cooking like I loved her cooking and while I still have family who do who do cook on the holidays it's not the same like having your grandmother cook top tier stuff <laughs> for Thanksgiving and things like that. Now I'm not like, a, I don't eat pork and like I don't eat a lot of that stuff now, but just being the presence of your ancestors is always like a joy. And so not having them in the physical realm sometimes gets to me and makes me sad. And yeah, then I go into like this mode of hiding um, just to process my emotions and feelings. So if you are struggling with seasonal depression, especially now that Valentine's Day is coming up and it's the day of love and things like that, I would just advise you to take the time to yourself, as I do, take the time to yourself to love on yourself, be patient with yourself, express gratitude for the things that you do have and reflect on the things that you have once had and appreciate those things because life goes on and um, you are here for a reason. So those experiences that you may have had or the grief that you may be feeling is just a testament to um, where you where you are going to go and how far you should go in order to um, honor the people that have come before you. So shout out to everybody who <laughs> struggles with seasonal depression and overcomes it. You are valued and you are loved. So, um, the next thing is, y'all, there has been so much that has happened with my career. Um, I'm very grateful for um, my journey as it pertains to my career. Um, yeah, I'm just grateful. So I'm grateful to God for that I am now considered a producer and that is something that I've always strived to want to do or want to have kind of like a title of. 
So now that I'm officially like a producer, that um, it brings joy to my heart, you know, and lets me know that I'm going in the right direction and that things are unfolding for me for the good. Even sometimes when I don't see it, God still remains faithful and reminds me that he sees me, that I am loved. And that should just, I just want to give that energy to y'all that, you know, financial breakthroughs and um, promotions and um, clarity on where you are supposed to go. May that enter into your home and may you find um, a supernatural breakthrough as it pertains to your finances. Um, and then in terms of, so seasonal depression, um, grief and career, now personal. So um, Valentine's Day is coming up. And so this is my personal update. Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, I've been single for two years now. And um, I, am, I am enjoying being single. I, I'm also looking forward to the day that God, you know, has my husband and I join forces and actually take those steps to um conquering the world basically <laughs> but yeah like i'm enjoying single life as much as i can sometimes it does get a little lonely it get lonely <laughs> sometimes it does get a little lonely um just because um First of all, I'm the only child, so that kind of intensifies my desire to want love or, hold on. Hello? And it's with Sarah, correct? Yes, with Sarah. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You too, bye. Sorry, y'all. See? Enjoy my single life. So I have some things planned for Valentine's Day. I may record my Valentine's Day as a single woman experience and post that up here. But that was just an appointment that I have um, scheduled for Valentine's Day. So nevertheless, um, single life for me has been ups and downs. Um, sometimes I get lonely or sometimes I feel isolated um, and, and, you know, long for affection and, you know, um, connection and things of that nature. And one of my love languages is like quality time and physical touch. I feel like all of my love languages are, <laughs> I, I probably can connect with all five love languages, but my top is like, you know, that quality time and that physical touch. So um, those things matter to me. And so sometimes like during these seasons where I may be dealing with seasonal depression or Valentine's Day is coming up, then I like have to go 10 times harder to make sure like, okay, I'm, I need to get active, stay, stay on the, you know, right and narrow and do things to elevate myself and do things to um, make myself feel good because a man <laughs> can't make me feel any better or any worse about myself. So I always like strive to make sure I'm doing the things that I need to do to um, make myself feel good, i.e. getting my nails done. Um, you can't really see it, but I do like basic nail stuff. But getting my nails done, making sure I'm, you know, catering to my skin, um, drinking tea, like being out in nature, as I've explained before, like 
those are the things that bring me peace, bring me happiness, bring me joy. And so I continue to like, I highly intensify those things around the, the like seat, um, around like the holidays and around Valentine's Day, because I know that, you know, the devil be busy and he'll try to get in your mind and like make you feel a way about being single. But um, I'm just embracing the journey because I know that one day I will um, encounter the, the man God has for me. So I'm not worried about um, that. I'm just focused on having a clear mind, having a clear heart so that when God says, okay, it's time, then I can be open and ready to receive what God has for me. So that's the personal. Um, and I guess that kind of leads into the spiritual part of, um, I've really been like trying to find the right church home. Um, I grew up in the church and I've found that there's a lot on social media about churches and it's a lot. Um, but I do, that goes back into like community and like community is important. So I have been trying to find the right church home for me. I still like do my own church at home, but you know, I do sometimes crave going to church. And so I went this past Sunday um, and I'm just, you know, asking God to lead me to the right church home. So if you're in like the DFW or Texas area, just let me know like what church you attend and I'll be sure to like check it out. Um, but now to the fun stuff. Okay. Cause we're like 13 minutes in, but As far as my locks, y'all, I'm going 60 days, 60 days without a retwist. So I probably, my last retwist was, and, and, and this is big because I'm usually a person who goes once a month to get a retwist. And so um, my last retwist um, was January 12th. So this is 30 days post my last retwist. And I'm actually going a little over 60 days because my next appointment isn't until the 23rd of next month. So um, as you can see, a lot of new growth. There's a lot like, hold on. I have a lot of new growth, okay? But I think it's important to sometimes give your hair a break and like not strain it so much or retwist it so much. So I'm doing 60 days of no retwists. Um, I washed my hair last week. I'm going to wash it again probably on Wednesday or probably wash my hair again on Friday and um, and just wash it once a week. And we'll see how this goes. So I'll probably like document that um, for y'all so you can see how this goes. Um, Cause I, I'm usually a person who prefers my hair to be like nice and neat and really just um, nice and tight and neat. But um, sometimes you just gotta let it, let it loose. <laughs> And let it just grow um, because I feel like while my hair is growing, this is like a four, four years, almost, well, no, almost three years of locks. So this three year locks and I'm wanting, my goal is to get it here. So I just, I'm taking a break from the retwist just so I can like let my hair grow more and keep it nice and oiled and moisturized and free of like too much um, 
pulling on the edges. Um, so I'll keep y'all posted on that. But before this video gets too long, because we're already at like 16 minutes, I just want to let you all know that you are loved. Um, continue to just stay positive in the midst of like your seasonal depression. Continue to um, show love to the people around you. And I will see you on the next video. And I and I'm and I'm telling y'all y'all, I will be on YouTube. I will be here and I hope that you join me on this journey. So peace and love and I'll see you soon.